Okay, so um, for those of you who haven't joined before, the way this works is there's a Q&A button at the bottom beneath me. So go ahead and submit any questions you have there and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you have something that's more like a, a conversation, something that's not a specific question, I can unmute your mic and we can talk about it. That's also an option. Let me just get my site set up here. Okay. Uh, this first question. We have a course named Content Calendar System. And for every customer who purchases this, we'll only have a year of access. We want to inform them by email if their access is about to expire 30 days before the expiration date. I'd like to know how I can pull the names of active members and member mouse. So it will be easy for us to create an email sequence with these customers. Um, well, the easiest way to do that would be to set them up um, on an autoresponder sequence when they purchase with you. So member mouse has the ability to integrate with different um, email service providers. And so you can configure it so that when people purchase that particular program, they get added to a list or something in your email service provider. And on that list, you can have an autoresponder that um, triggers an email to be sent 30, 60 days away from a year after they signed up. Um, in terms of if you don't want to do it that way, um, then the easiest thing for you to do would be to go to the man manage member screen um, and then you can search for members um, who have signed up for the content cal calendar system and you specify the date range, um, whatever the math is. So if you want today to find the people who are 30 days away from the year, if it's um, currently April, then you would, so it's April, 2021 you would search for everybody who's on that membership and who signed up between March 1st and March 31st, 2020. No, sorry, not March, um, May. May 1st and May 30th, 2020, because that anybody who signed up with there is, is coming close to a year. Is that right? No, I was right the first time, I think. Anyway. You know what I mean? So you, you do the start date. So you find the people who are going to be 30, who have signed up 11 months ago, and then you can export that list from member mouse to a CSV file. You can import it into your email service provider or whatever. That's, that's the second way you can do it. Um, I'm looking at the second question and reading through it and it already seems too complicated to answer here um, from Patrick. Yeah, Patrick, best to send this one to support. It's not something I can answer here. Uh, so Marcos is asking, um, is it possible to sell access to single blog posts? Yes, it is possible to do this. Um, I will share my screen here. Okay, so let's say 
Um, you have a post called uh, single post. And you have some protected content on the page. Go ahead and publish that. So at this point, if I open up an incognito window, you'll notice that this page is public. So anybody can access it. So what we want to do is go to our product settings. And I'm going to do this with bundles. There are, there are multiple ways you can protect your content. But in, in this particular situation, I think bundles probably the best way to do it because bundles are things that people can buy many of. So say you have 10 different posts you're protecting and you want people to be able to buy access to one or more of these posts, bundles gives you the most amount of flexibility. So the first thing um, we want to do is create a product that gives us the price for the single post. So let's just call it a single post product. And I'm going to give it a price of $1. And I'm not going to make it a subscription product or a trial. It's just going to be a, a straight up one-time purchase product. So we can see that product there. Uh, and now I'm going to create a bundle, a single post. And it's paid, meaning somebody, they have to buy something in order to get this bundle. And it's the product that we just created, single post product. Um, and that's it. So now once we have this bundle, there's a number of ways again to protect content, but in this given example, we're dealing with a single post. So I'll just show you how to do it on the post itself. So we go to the single post and we find our member mouse options, grant access, and we select the bundle that we just created a uh, single post. So now that we've done that, we've created the, the bundle um we protected this post and now if i go to incognito window oh let me make sure i publish this or update it um now that we go now we go to the incognito window and attempt to visit that page we see that we're redirected to an error page because we don't have access so the way we get access is we buy the product that gives us access to that bundle. So we copy this purchase link, open up a new browser, and now we're on the checkout page. We're going to be charged a dollar. So I go ahead and submit that. Uh, let's try again. Um, Hold on a second. I'm in my development environment and I was working on something, so I have to turn this off real quick. Okay, submit. So now that we bought this product, um, if I now visit the single post page, you'll see that I can access it. So that's how you would go through the process of protecting a single post and allowing people to buy access to that one post. Um, so Marcos, is it possible to set up a preview for that post that includes a buy now link? Yes, that is possible. Um, so you're going to do this using um, smart tags. So by default, the way that member mouse protects content is if you protect it, it's going to give a do a hard block, meaning if somebody tries to access it, it's going to immediately bounce them to a 
um, error page. But if you want to do something that is like what we call self-promoting content, um, then this support article shows you everything you need to know on how to do that. Um, you'll be using these smart tags, access decision. So if access decision, if access is false, meaning the person viewing the page doesn't have access, you can show a purchase link so that they can get access. And if, and if it's true, meaning they do have access to the post, then you can just show the protected content. So the article that's uh, listed in the chat uh, is, we'll show you exactly how to do this. You're welcome. Okay, so if there aren't any more questions, I'll just wait another minute here to see if there are more questions. Otherwise, we'll wrap things up. all set then so thanks for joining and asking questions and I hope you have a good weekend and see you next time. All right. Bye.